All right, what's up, everybody? We are on episode 59 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which is called Lost Light. Yeah, so we, of course, ended last episode on Roy Mustang making the, well, forced decision, I guess you should say, to, well, to actually take part in the transmutation ritual, essentially, right? And, um, yeah, I mean, I can only guess that that will make him have to end up at the exact same place where we've already seen Edward, Alphonse, and Izumi. It's... You know, I don't know if I really, yeah, talked about any of this in previous episodes yet. I don't think so, because I've been thinking about this now for the past day since coming off of the previous episode. And I'm still in binge mode. I actually checked and I, you know, I started watching these episodes uh, back to back, basically from 51 on. And now we're almost reaching the conclusion and I'm just going to watch it all. So I, by the time, you know, we, we end the show, I must have watched like basically 14 episodes Practically in a row, right? Right, With like some sleep in between, but <laughs> that's about it. Uh, anyway, the point being is that I was thinking about Father's plan, which of course he revealed that basically what he's aiming to achieve is to create the perfect being, as he put it, right? And we're basically seeing that already right now, where he has absorbed Hohenheim, seemingly, right? And I guess he has the exact same thing, uh, same plan in mind when it comes to Edward, Alphonse, uh, Izumi, and to... Roy Mustang as well. I think when they talked about the original plan where they said that they would want to have each of them at the five points or whatever, right? Like, I think they mentioned Roy Mustang back then too, which by now that's probably like a good 10, 20 episodes back or something. Um, you know, when they talked about the original plan, the the transmutation circle, you know, encompassing Amestras and stuff, right? It's interesting because we're technically getting ahead of ourselves already with this, right? We're making them draw these transmutation circles. We're getting them caught up into different rituals now that are not the ultimate ritual yet. So why exactly is that? Like the laws of alchemy and the rules in general have always been a little bit lost on me. I'm not going to lie about it. Like I, ne I think I never just ended up fully figuring out what alchemy could actually do, if that makes sense. Like, yes, I understood, of course, that Edward and Alphonse tried to use it to bring their uh, mom back early on. And that was something that they realized, like, no, that's not possible. We've seen a bunch of characters throughout the show use alchemy in all kinds of way, uh, ways, whether it's to heal, whether it's to, I don't know, create, like, mass out of nothing or whatever, right? Or lift up the, uh, you know, like, like I don't know, whatever you... Uh, I don't even know how to describe it, you know, to, like, summon ice or whatever, all those kinds of uh, things, right? And so... I get that it's basically, it's it's magic, I guess. You can, you can kind of use it, or you can kind of call it magic or something. I don't know. You know, again, but the 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 ultimate plan here that Father has always was a little bit, like, lost on me, right? I, I speculated about that a lot. Like, does he actually just want to kill everybody in a mistress? Well, no. I mean, we, we founded the country for a reason, right? Now we find out it's like, oh, to create the perfect being. But at the same time, I'm thinking... Well, it probably also wants world domination or something, right? I mean, again, a mistress is only going to be the first of... Well, well, yeah, it's not going to end there, if you get what I'm saying. Like, what was, what does he want when he gets to be the perfect being or whatever, right? Well, to dominate the world, I guess. I, yeah, in that way it does, if that's true, in that way it does actually kind of neatly connect to my initial uh, expectation of like, oh, it's about world domination, basically. Uh, expanding that, yeah, that, that that territory even more and becoming, you know, like becoming an even more powerful version now of what Father already was and basically the perfect being that is taking all these characters who we know are super strong and talented, right? Edward Alphonse, uh, Izumi, uh, Roy Mustang. These are like the best people you could possibly take, right? And he's literally using them absorbing them into himself i guess that's what he ultimately wants as he's done with hohenheim now already apparently like again to make himself even more strong and and, and therefore perfect right so fascinating stuff for sure but uh you know i will say that for now it remains kind of speculation and, and you know we don't exactly have all these details confirmed i don't know if this is actually where Roy Mustang is then now going to end up, but I would think so, right? Still, it's like weird, because it's like, where did Edward actually end up? What was that place that we were basically in with uh, Father there, with the perfect being, whatever we should call him at this point? You know, it wasn't like the, the initial realm where Edward met the creator, God himself, however he fucking worded it uh, early on in the show. <laughs> like I said, this shit gets kind of complicated to me because I can't rationally structure or explain it even in my own head you get what I'm saying so 
I hope uh, I'm still making enough sense uh, nonetheless. Of course, last episode, a couple other things happened too. We lost Buccaneer, unfortunately, who had a great, I will say, great couple episodes to go out, if that makes sense. You know, he definitely stepped up his game and he did whatever necessary to, um, uh, yeah, to defend everybody, right? And that was awesome to see. We, well, once again, seem to have sort of temporarily lost Bradley. You know, like Bradley got shot by a rando. A random, I should say, but he literally got shot by him and like fell into the water or whatever, right? I mean, he's going to be fine. You know, he's not done with yet. Again, we have three main villains, basically, right? Bradley, Salim, Father. Father being the real main villain, I guess, and these two still below him. But um, still, when are we going to see Salim back? It's been so long since we've seen him, honestly. And therefore, arriving now at the last six episodes, oh my god, we have so much still to do, right? We have, of course, also Ling, Greed, Greed, Ling stepping up his game even more you know like literally destroying the whole lift that could even get the uh you know the people from from central command to go up the platform or whatever right and to get to the gate that they would then open uh or well that they would try to have opened i guess right which is what we're trying to basically prevent yeah it's a it's a crazy amount of stuff going on i think i've done enough talking we're gonna dive into this next episode and of course guys if you enjoy my reactions to full metal alchemist brotherhood you'll be able to get early access to all the remaining episodes straight away over on my patreon page which is going to be linked on top of the description go and check it out over there we'll be done with all 64 episodes you can check out the full length reactions if you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety and uh you can also sign up as a free member and watch at least the next episode already right now but with that being said let's dive into this new episode. Well, he chose to do it anyway. But there was plenty of reason to. Because of course he would never let Riza, you know, die. <laughs> Why speak in such a creepy way? I mean, this dude is creepy. Whoa! He won't? Nah, that's not what we're doing. Yeah. Lost kids, huh? I mean, what a great reason. Got off balance? What are we saying? What? I didn't even notice it. Huh? Oh! Holy fuck! He grabbed him with the saliva. Okay, yeah, that's not something I had envisioned. I mean, there better be a way to still save Riza then in time, right? I thought Roy Mustang was surely just gonna do it. Oh, fuck. Let's go, May. All the backup is here. Yeah, you're, you're gonna need that to literally save Riza, right? There's no other way to do it, I think. That cut is too deep. She's lost too much blood already. Oh my god. Yo, dude, watch fucking out. <laughs> that vial was jumping everywhere. Not exactly making things easier. Okay. Okay. Oh, she's gonna use her alcastry. Is that gonna be enough? Maybe for now? Exactly. Mina 
進まない助かったなーにいいってことよ<laughs> そうだ賢者の石 Where is it? Okay, it's still there Oh my god, the dog Is it gonna be him? Is this Bradley? Of course it's fucking Bradley, dude One place he could have shown up after falling in the water. Not regenerating. Maybe because of the ritual that we perform now? Already with Edward? That's... <laughs> He's being honest. Oh, he got here through the sewer network. Wow. Yeah, because they were down below too, right? So that, that makes perfect sense for him to get here. Yeah, man is wounded though. And again, it's weird that he does no longer regenerate. What's that about? It's like when Edward said he lost his alchemy ability. But I'm a changed man. Exactly. Ooh. Man is a control freak. Oh shit! Oh! Oh! What do you do? What happened? He got struck by something else? Was it father? I don't know how father manages to be here and where he was talking to Edward. I mean, maybe Edward just basically got teleported somewhere, right? That's possible too, because it still seemed to be in this kind of environment. That's what I was weirded out about too. It's like he was not in the White Realm or whatever, right? Oh, it's Salim. It's Salim. Oh, fuck. I mean, hey, you have to show up at some point. I was waiting. God damn. Are we going to be fighting Bradley and Salim at once? That's, uh... That's not good. Man is using Roy Mustang as a fucking snowboard. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, they do not care about you. You just never realize this. Salim stabbed you from behind while standing in front of you. Go figure. What are they writing? Oh, shit. Oh, they are forcing him to take part in that ritual now. Yeah, shit. That makes sense. Probably why they needed the doctor too or something, right? It's like a sacrifice. Yeah, I see three buffs right now. Oh. Oh, shit. I'm guessing they need all of them to be where they're going to be before that eclipse is there, right? Holy shit. Oh man. Oh man. Is he gonna... I don't know what's gonna happen. I truly don't. The way they spoke of it, it's like you're gonna lose a limb. 
which honestly I'd see as uh, good news. The, but yeah, this this does not look like that. This is something else. Oh my god. Is it just him or is it the both of them? Oh, okay, they did, they did teleport him. Just physical integrity. Yeah, no, part of it might be in that fucking monster or what? I never saw any of these to be cut out for this. Although, Scar? Scar and Riza, I'll give him a chance, you know, but Riza's too, too hurt. In that case, what? I was gonna say, that should be what you're focused on then. Not Bradley himself. Okay, here goes Roy. Well, I know where this is. Meet your maker, I guess. And your very own customized door. Oh, wait. Was he, like, forced to go through that before then ending up here? And is that why they didn't have to? Because they already saw it before. That, that kind of makes sense, I guess, right? Damn. Yeah, he's still in there, I guess. He needs to get reunited with his body first, I would, I would think, right? You know what he's talking about. Hmm. Right, because they all lost something because of it. Pitch black, I can't see anything. His eyes? His eyes are not working? Oh, man. He still got him, though, right? Like, we can see that he has eyes. Or doesn't... You know, he does, he does. Yeah, I was going to say, not on his own account, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Truth. これたちみたいに自発的にやらかしたのは納得するさ。だが、それ気のない奴が無理やり人体連成に巻き込まれて視力を持ってかれてそれが正しいっていうのか。そんな筋の通らねえ心理が認めねえ。Yeah. <laughs> Such an injustice. Oh god. Okay, that's exactly what Squad did. Oh shit. Oh I'm so I'm so down for this fight, man. I guess I'll just force Bradley's hand and then let the others sort of go down there? Or did he... No, okay. He's still here. Yeah, these two are a great match.
<laughs> God, make it more dramatic, please. Oh, yeah. I mean, they they said they they sense father there, so somehow I hadn't realized that. Like, no, that's where they actually are. All of them. The immortal ringleader. <laughs> Your hero. He's still stuck, I think. I, I, I don't know. See? He's reuniting with himself. Yeah, looks completely starved. It's insane. I mean, is he actually gonna get it back, though? At this point, I'm so skeptical, you know what I mean? Whoa! Can't take this? Exactly. I was gonna say, the first thing you need to do is fucking start eating. When you get back. But the timing right now is not really too convenient. No. I actually get that. Yeah, you're gonna have to come back, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I guess he can. That's a... That's a tough decision, though. Jesus Christ. But he did. He like literally rushed in there, kind of like, I'm not even gonna think about this. Yep. Wow, man. You, Yeah, you gotta kind of feel bad for his body though. Already that moment earlier with Edward, like nah, Alphonse is gonna have to, you know, Bring me back, and then Alphonse finally arrives, and he doesn't. Wow. Wow. Talking to himself. Now what? Absorb them all at once? Oh man. Alright, well, anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course, you can get early access to the remaining episodes of the show straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up as a free member and watch already the next episode right now as well. So, I'll see you there.